Baby Auto. Audio dubs available. Turn them on in settings and audio track. What really happens if your electric car runs out of charge on the road? Range anxiety is one of the biggest worries for people thinking about switching to an electric vehicle. The idea of being stuck in the middle of nowhere, with no gas station in sight, can feel really scary. But is this fear fair? Is it like running out of gas? Today, we're going to break down exactly what happens, step by step, and how modern electric cars are made to make this situation much less dramatic than you might think. Hook. Imagine this. You're driving on a dark lonely road. Your car's screen flashes with a scary warning. 1% battery left. Your heart starts to pound. What happens next? Does everything just shut down all at once? Are you left in the dark, stuck, and helpless? Let's separate what's true from what's not, and give you a full guide so you know exactly what to do. Okay, let's clear up the biggest myth first. The myth is that an electric car just shuts down and leaves you stranded without warning, like someone pulled a plug. The truth is much more advanced and safe. Unlike a gas car, which might cough a few times and then suddenly die, an electric vehicle is made to give you many warnings and slowly go into a self-protection mode. Your car talks to you all the time. Long before things get really bad, you'll get messages. First, you'll see the range estimate on your dashboard become more noticeable, often changing color to yellow or red. Then, you'll get visual and sound alerts, telling you to charge the battery as soon as possible. If you ignore these warnings, the car doesn't give up, it just gets more pushy and starts doing things to save the power it has left. This is when the famous turtle mode or reduced power mode kicks in. Here's a detailed look at what happens as the battery runs low. At about 10% battery the car will actively bug you to find a charger. The navigation system, if it's on, will probably show you a list of nearby charging stations and ask if you want it to guide you to one. It's the car's first serious push for you to do something. If you keep driving and the charge drops to, say 5%, the car will go into a more serious power saving mode. To get the most miles out of what's left, it will lower the power to things that aren't essential. The air conditioning or heating will get weaker or turn off, the gas pedal will respond slower, and your top speed will be limited by the car's computer. You won't be able to speed up quickly or drive fast on the highway. The car is giving up performance to give you the most distance possible to find a safe place. Did you get to turtle mode? This usually happens when the battery is really low, around 1 to 2%. You'll see a turtle icon, or a clear, reduced power message. At this point, your speed is greatly limited, often to no more than 15 to 20 miles per hour. Speeding up will be very slow. The point of this mode isn't to get you to your destination, but to give you enough control and time to safely get out of traffic and pull over to the side of the road, an exit, or a parking lot. You'll have slow and limited, but controlled movement, enough to stop safely. What happens if you stop with 0%? Even though the screen says 0, the main high voltage battery still has a small bit of power saved. This saved power isn't for driving, but to keep important safety systems working for a while, like emergency lights, door locks, and basic electronics. The moment you realize you won't make it to a charger, your top priority should be safety. Don't try to squeeze out the last few feet. As soon as it's safe to do so, signal your intention to stop. Pull over as far as possible from the road. A wide shoulder, an emergency exit or a closed business's parking lot are perfect spots. Try to stop on flat, straight ground, which will make getting help easier. Once you've stopped, immediately turn on your hazard lights. This is super important to let other drivers know you're there. Look around you. If you're on a highway with fast traffic, the safest thing to do is stay inside your car with your seatbelt on. It's the safest place if someone hits you. If you're on a quieter road and think it's safer to get out, do so on the passenger side, away from traffic, and stand behind a guardrail if there's one available. Never stand between your car and traffic. Now that you're safe, how do you get power again? You mainly have two choices. Option A, roadside assistance. Many EV-specific assistance services, and even some regular ones, have vans that carry mobile chargers. These are basically big portable batteries with a charging cable. 
They won't give you a full charge, but in about 15 to 30 minutes, they can give you enough power, maybe 5 to 10 miles of range, to get to the nearest charging station on your own. It's the quickest and easiest solution. Option B, a flatbed tow truck. If mobile assistance isn't available or isn't an option, you'll need your car towed. And here's a very important point. Electric cars should not be towed with their drive wheels on the ground. This is because when the drive wheels turn, the electric motor acts like a generator, which can create an electric current that could damage the power electronics or the motor itself if the system isn't ready for it. So, when you call for help, you need to specifically ask for a flatbed tow truck. Before the tow truck arrives, check your car's manual to turn on transport mode or tow mode. This usually puts the car in neutral and turns off the automatic parking brake, allowing the tow truck to safely load it onto the flatbed. This brings us to a common question. Can a tow truck recharge your battery just by towing you with the wheels on the ground? The short and strong answer is no, don't do that. Even though regenerative braking could technically create some charge, it's extremely dangerous and uncontrolled. You could seriously overload and damage the drive system, battery, or electronics. It's a risk that's never worth taking. Always use a flatbed tow truck. Another question. Will 12 volt battery jump starters work? It's important to know that an EV has two batteries, the big high voltage one that powers the car and a small 12 volt one, like in a gas car, that powers things like lights, radio, and screens. If the 12 volt battery dies, the car won't start, even if the main battery is full. In that case, a jump start can turn on the electronics and let you put the car in ready to drive mode. However, this won't add any miles of range to the high voltage battery. If you've run out of charge in the main battery, a 12V jump starter won't help you move the car at all. So, how do you avoid all this trouble? Prevention is by far the best plan. Three quick tips. First, plan your route. Use your car's built-in trip planner or apps like a better route planner. These systems don't just tell you where chargers are, they also figure out how much energy you'll use based on hills, temperature, and your speed, suggesting the best charging stops. Trust the safety margin they suggest. It's better to arrive at a charger with 20% than with 2%. Second, drive efficiently. Avoid sudden accelerations and driving too fast. Use regenerative braking as much as you can. And third, know your local rescue options before you need them. Save the number for an EV assistance service in your contacts. Finally, let's talk about another myth. Running out of charge ruins your battery. The truth is, while it's not ideal, and you shouldn't do it often, one deep discharge won't destroy your battery. Electric vehicles have a Smart Battery Management System, or BMS. This system is the brain of the battery, and its main job is to protect it. The BMS stops overcharging, overheating, and also too much discharging. As we said, when your car shows 0%, there's actually a small amount of power saved that you can't use for driving. The BMS keeps this to protect the battery cells in the long run. Draining a lithium-ion battery to truly zero voltage can cause permanent chemical damage. The BMS is designed specifically to stop that from happening. So if you run out of charge, don't panic about your battery's health. Just follow the steps to get a recharge safely and as soon as possible. Once you plug it in, the BMS will handle the charging process to make sure everything goes back to normal. Recharge soon and you'll be fine. We hope this detailed guide was helpful and calmed some of your worries. If this helped you, leave a comment with your closest story of getting to 1%. We'd love to hear your experiences. Share this with a friend who's curious about electric cars or worried about range, and subscribe for more detailed explanations that separate facts from fiction in the world of electric vehicles. Running out of battery in an electric car isn't the end of the world, nor is it an unexpected disaster. It's a predictable and manageable situation that your car and assistance services are ready for. The key is to understand what's happening, stay calm, and put safety first. With a little planning, it's a situation you'll probably never experience. 
But if it does happen, now you know there's a plan. Be prepared, stay calm, and you'll be back on the road. We're trying out language dubs to reach more people. Let us know in the comments if this feature helped you understand the content better. Thanks for watching from Baby Odo.